Stank, Knees Knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Kara. Hello. And today we are reviewing the Bucks Buck Marksman. Bucks Marksman. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Here we are with the specs. These are from Blade HQ. Um, I think I'm missing one. There's some more for you. So if you want to check these out and a little more detail go ahead and pause and we're gonna move on to some size comparisons all right we have a bunch of size comparisons for you and just to say we are in a park so if we hear a couple other noises we are sorry for that all right there's Should the I do it this buck way or the other way marksman yeah do it that way there's the buck marksman and it's a three and a half inch blade the overall i think you guys saw the stats I think it's eight inches or somewhere. It was a little over eight inches. I think it's eight two five or something. Yeah, eight point two five. I think. All right. Um, there is the Ganzo FH eleven with our mod. It's not Here, how it comes. It, no, that's not how it comes. Here is the real steel, which is a good size comparison. The real steel Griffin. Yeah, these two. I think we're gonna maybe do a comparison on in the future if you can't already tell why. <laughs> we're gonna do a couple. Of, you know, let's do another Ganzo really quick. I don't even know what that one's called. Um, this one is the G753, I think that's what it says. Yeah, G753. This is the large version of this knife. Yes. And then also, let's Ooh, do some American knives now. I got one. I got one now. Of... We're gonna do some, yeah, get out some American knives. Here's the ZT0450, you can see it's a lot smaller. Here is the, the bug out. out. And a couple more American knives here is our USA made knives here is the Kershaw Bernacle that is also a very good size comparison it's um pretty close to that and then one more American made knife the Kershaw knockout You're being wiggly sorry all right let's get to the, the, the stuff yeah to the stuff to the Schmitties close-ups yeah, it's just impossible. All right, let's do it. All right, talk. All right, guys, this has the, it's a collaboration with G&G &G Hawk and Buck. The blade steel is 154 CM, and it should, right it has the boss heat treat, the big bad boss heat treat that Buck does. Boss. That's the other side, that's the it's G&G. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, the other side too. Look at the other side. And also on the... I thought the that was Buck's logo. Um, I, I thought that mistaken. was the Boss Heat I think you're mistaken, pal. I thought that was the Boss Heat Tree. I, well, I could be. Um, whoa, but whoa. Nice also, nice. you have another one that shows the anvil right there. So you got the two anvils on there. Oh, that yeah. is all the logoing on there, which you just saw. Okay. It is a hollow grind very thin behind the edge yeah. i think it's about fourteen thousand, fifteen thousandths behind the edge at the thinnest point um i think it goes up to eighteen thousandths behind the edge towards the tip and then a little thicker you know on the tip um it has the deadlock which is the locking mechanism you see back there it's a back strap which on the holds side. in the blade and then when you pull it back we're going to show a lot more of this in just a second as you can see when Showing you a close up so this hook is going to come out from back here and snap right in and then it's going to fall out and, and then, then this hook free back drops. here it yeah. free drops into place just swing it a little bit we're going to show the action and everything okay and then the okay, handle sorry. is an aluminum handle it's got kind of a, a powdery feeling to it the it's texture not a bad one, though. it's not really bad i hate powdery powdery aluminum and, and I, this one doesn't bother me okay it's a lot like the the bare knuckle or the knockout a, a lot it's a little bit more texture than that but you see the milling they got in the aluminum it's uh the hardware is t8 and then t6s it is an extra deep carry pocket clip about as deep as you can go yeah look at that guys and also you see the screws on the back that is and then there's also another hole turn it around show that little hole that they send you a little tool that you can put in there and you can adjust the the strength on the back lock so you can make it stronger or lighter because it basically acts like a detent so um 
So it's basically just it's just a detent. So when this is the only thing holding it back, as you saw when it was free, like that. So once it bang locks in, here's a little action. Let's do some action. You guys ready? Ooh. And then to unlock it, there's a couple different ways. One way you can grip it like this, where I'm holding one, a couple fingers on this side, my thumb on this side, and then I put my my pointer finger in between this right there and I let it drop and then you gotta let it go so that it locks back in place because otherwise mm -hmm. it won't lock back up yeah, because I'm pulling the lock back, back right, right. so if you don't let it go it'll do this oh, not that it'll do this where let me move it up just a little bit where it well it does that go or on, it, it bounces well, it where it bounces out like that see how it bounced out or it I don't know why I'm not getting this right sorry you're nervous yeah, it's my nervous. nervousness. Well, anyways, you guys it goes like nervous. this. You can also grip it. You can grip the locking mechanism itself and then push on the blade and go like that. But you got to let it go again so that it doesn't do that. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll do that. That's what I was trying to show you. You grip it, and it goes like that. Can but, I show one thing with the action? Yep, in one second. As long as you let it go, it'll lock right back in place. I'm going to show you that right now. Oh, no, I'm not. It does take a little bit to get down, but as you see, we have had it for a while. I've worked with it, and it's still, you know, sometimes you get a little goofy with it. But I, I do get it down pat when I'm not in front of the camera. But as of right now, you see, there we go. I'm going to keep trying it. I just want to see the action, but there you go. So the flipper tab action is really nice. Um, this knife obviously doesn't have a, um, a detent. As we said, this sort of acts as a detent, but... Not having a detent makes it really easy to, you deploy. know, deploy, whether it be with that hole or with the um, flipper tab. Uh, one thing, though, with the flipper tab is you have to sort of mean it. Not because it's hard to push out, but because if you don't mean it... Oh, I meant it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dangerous knife, dangerous knife. Do I? No, I got it. Um, if you don't mean it, it'll, it'll just bounce do this. Back. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's another. But it's extremely easy. Like, this is one of the most easiest to flick out. Like the action yeah. on this. And if you listen to this thing, just listen really quick. Listen to this action. Make no noise. That's one way. It has a couple different sounds. And then right here is like a chain, chain link. So if you listen to the sound, it's so unique to where. And then if I don't, like just, if I do the, the push button, it's like a whip. Very unique sounds. But yeah, the, the middle finger reverse flick, very easy to do. And that has mm -hmm. more of a chain link sound too. And then the, the thumb flick. They're all very easy to do, but you want to mean it. And it's very easy to do a lazy flick on this because mm -hmm. it's so easy to do. There's no detent. Right. When it's so easy to, to flick out, sometimes you just almost just like just fling it or just barely do it where you're just like that and it'll do that. Comes so back and chomps you. You mm -hmm. want to keep your fingers out of the line of fire. So keep it always on the side. And because we're used to flicking it and it never being able to come back. Usually, you know, when you deploy a knife, it doesn't come back, right? So you tend to flick it and then instantly put your hands back in the line of fire because you're used to it never being able to come back. Since this one come back, sometimes you'll just put your little fingertips just a little bit right there. It'll come back down. It'll get you. So you want to be careful with that. So this is definitely not a knife you hand to non-knife people. Um, also, it does carry very well and carrying it and holding it you would think that because of this jimping I, to be honest i do wish that they just left it rounded and there is a couple other models tell them the other models really quick they, oh uh, uh, what do you mean the other models the like other, the s35 g10 yeah, ones there's yeah, g10 so. ones there's s35 there's different colors so it, there yeah the, like he said there is other colors however right now you can't um get any unless you get them on the secondary market I, I perused around online and so far I've only seen that you can purchase this one for around $115 and then was it that much mm -hmm. I thought it was like I thought it was 95 no no no, no. $115 and that's quote unquote marked down you know from the MSRP how they do all that but there is one other black aluminum model out there it has a more complete pattern on it and it's a stonewashed tanto version it is the 831 whereas this is the um, 830. 830 as you can see right there on the blade 
Um, so yeah, it right now. It has a now, different finish on the blade too, right? Yeah, I it's said like that. A, oh, did you? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, it has like a different stone wash. Yeah, so right now you can't buy um, the like. There's like an orange one, a green one. There's like a gray G10. There's ones with S35 and other variations with the 154 cm. Even sites that were selling them as exclusives, they don't have anymore unless you're looking for this one or the Tanto one. So them in your grip really quick. Um, yeah, so there's a tiny. Because I want to show you mine right after. Tiny hand grip for you. So even though I have small hands, I would say this actually is Fits quite well. fitting because of that large squared teardrop drape shape. It can really fit anybody's hand. And then even on you know just for as far as like using the action goes, it's really easy. Um, Super easy for anybody to learn. And with the jimping around the edges right here you really don't get it because the way it sits in your hand you just you don't get it it just your fingers don't really hit it and in um the saber grip doesn't hit it there either um you don't really choke up with this but if you were gonna your fingers would be like this and doesn't hit it there the only place you could possibly hit it is the pinch grip which you can avoid it though i just find i tear my knuckles around like that and I go like that and i have no problems with it um but if you hold it right back there let's tell them the um you know some of the things they would want to know and some of the things they need to know so we can go over some of those good yeah. things and some of those maybe okay more. one thing you uh you want to know is the action is amazing this is an amazing fidget knife yes it, um it's so easy to deploy once you get it used to it it's very easy to manipulate not only that but there's many ways to deploy yes uh, all the ways every way you can pretty much deploy. all the way the only way i don't think is maybe oh yeah oh. you can you can do that you can undo the lock and oh yes, yeah can. so there's four different ways to, to open this knife aside from doing like that so actually there's five so there's lots of ways to mess with this thing yeah um so and then the sound the you could sound, hold the blade and, and reverse gravity flip it yeah too. you can do every type you can do any type of action with this thing this thing yeah. amazing to fidget with like i said it's just you know you got to be careful but <laughs> it um it, the, the great things though the, the sound is amazing that's another great thing i mean it just this sound is like no other um it does uh, like I'll begin with the pocket just really quick. You would think these things really bother you. It, you feel it a little bit going into the pocket, but it's not bad. It does ride just so fine. So it's an ergonomic knife. Then. Yeah, it's okay That's in the pocket. It's not the best in the it, pocket. It takes up a little space. The clip but... is good though. Um, bad things. Wait. Right? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No one what? cares about what I think. What do you think? Do you sweet? guys care? Sweetheart. Okay, let me tell you guys. All right, so another good thing is, uh, and this could go either way. I think it's a good thing, though. Being that this is an aluminum handle with a coating, oh, it yeah. gets, and also, same thing with the finish on the blade, it gets a really nice patina to it. Some people can throw this into the bad side category, but as you can see here along this edge, there is um, some wear happening and um, right here. But if you can think of a Benchmade 940 aluminum, the way that wears where people get those, you know, patinas right across mm -hmm. anywhere where there's like a bevel or a bump, yeah. um, I think it looks really beautiful. If you guys want to throw that into the bad side of the category, go for it. But I think it's, um, I like it. Okay. I think it's a nice finish. I really like the finish. One bad thing, though, or going, so, on, going, to on. The, going on to the need to knows. Mm -hmm. Here's the need to know. All the ones I've seen that people have gotten, they did not cut the sharpening choil high enough. You see, I didn't sharpen this. I only, after using it, I just dropped it because I didn't want to sharpen it because I wanted to show you guys this. I'm going to fix it. Like but you see frown. how it goes downward. It's like a frown it just, instead of a smile. <laughs> well, go, yeah, and <laughs> it, it's... Laugh it at my be, joke. Uh, yeah, it's hilarious. It's um, it can be fixed. So I'm just gonna throw a little diamond um thing right there, or a Dremel, and just get rid of it, mm -hmm. and um, resharpen it, or just keep sharpening it. One or the other. I don't know yeah, what I'm gonna do, um, but I am gonna fix it. But Schmitty is weird. That, I've seen thing. it on all of them though. Um, another bad thing is if when you're let it, when you're deploying it, or oh, sorry, when you're closing it, if you close it like this which it's very easy to do. This, when you first start, it's that's probably the easiest. To do it like that too. If you're too close right here, so if you don't push up here and you push down here, you're gonna push and your skin can get caught right there. And it clamps shut on there. It's very painful. I mean, it puts a nice little bite on you. So it bites it and then the only way to let go is to let the knife back out. It's like out. getting your skin caught in a zipper and having to undo the zipper to get it right. out. It's, it's, it bites you. So another one is well, the danger it, in the blade yeah, coming down because of this. It bites you in many ways. Because of that. 
that can get you if because when you deploy it if your skin is just a little bit right there you see the centering it's it almost it on yeah. yeah it's almost on but not quite but see. when your fingertips are hanging over that edge they yeah. can get bit so like i said it's not a knife to hand to people so that's another bad thing or a need to know you need to know that you don't want to hand this to non-knife people it's even dangerous even knife life. people um i've mentioned they this, gotta know yeah i've mentioned this before to jared but um when I finally got cut by this thing, I watched him get cut by it like four times. So you have to know, I already knew that it was, you know, whatever, but kind of dangerous. But the time when I finally bit myself with this thing was actually when I was getting good at it. Right, and I think it's because right. I let my guard down a yep. little bit. That's what I did um, for the fourth time. You can feel right here. I just wanted to mention this because we didn't. There is some resistance here because this hook has not been placed into the lock end, to the deadlock. So there is this moment in time where it's kind of like there's a little resistance almost like an assisted but way less resistance um and that's really what makes it fling right out back at you so yeah. you you gotta want to mean to close it and even if you mean to close it you saw how it flew back out so there's many different ways that it could cause it to have that ricochet effect being such a fidgety knife you yeah. want to play with it like that but it's it is worth the danger it, it really is <laughs> and, but i will say though that i did cut myself one time pretty bad yeah you did when it came sharp. back down because it came like back down edge. and it got me right on the mm -hmm. tip like that and it went all the way i mean it got that's me where really i got bad. got to was with my my pinky being barely over the edge and you might think you're safe but it could just barely be going in that blade path. But and once it'll you get, get you. used to it, though, it's fun. This knife is tons of fun, and this locking mechanism is very strong. It is very strong. Okay. You can always tighten it and make it stronger. Le I know we're just kind of like rambling about random stuff right now, but I want to throw one more need to know out there, and it's about that jimping on the um, deadlock. Yep. I will just say that though it doesn't get in the way of your actual grip, like yeah. it's not in, in your way like this. But to me, fidgeting with it after a while, it is a little aggressive on yeah, your fingers. Yeah. So I'll just say that. But I mean, when you first you get it, what, it's though? a strong lock. When get you first over get it. it. That's right. kind of how I feel. Let get your skin over break it, in. You know? you're, just like when you're when you use a strong detent on the flipper tab, your skin's got to break out. Yeah. You, you got to get filled up those you, calluses. Right. So you do got to do that with this. But it does break in. When you first get it, the lock is very strong. And it's almost hard. But once you get the muscle memory it's like down. like leverage, right? Like right now, like I can do it very quickly and just keep doing it. You're a pro, be baby. Yeah, be well, because the lock's broken. That's one way, one thing. And because my muscle memory has gotten really good at holding it and not having to do it you know like awkward you figure it out you want to figure it out so. um and before we wrap this up i just wanted to say too this um i know we keep going back and forth and good and bad but you know what this is how we're doing it um this hole is not chamfered or i guess is it it's not chamfered but it's not chamfered in the best way possible like you know how spider co sometimes they can be a little sharp on your fingernail or anything this thing is perfect yeah it, is. it does it not really bother is. you and some of that is because there's no detent for you to fight against to open it but it is just that goes into perfect. the good action no i know. You know yeah so i just wanted to point out that specifically Sorry, because that's one thing floppity on the, the there's knees just knees a lot a lot of stuff yeah there is a lot on this and you know we came to the park so we're not at our house we should have been a little bit more prepared but there you guys go that's the want to knows and needs to know so the want to knows is the action is great and always and the needs knows is you, you got to be him. careful with the lock <laughs> you got to be careful yeah all right thanks guys thank you like and subscribe. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One, oh, more thing. Oh, one more thing oh, oh snap snap he's gonna cut something really here. quick you guys aren't here oh what yeah you guys aren't here yeah, you're oh, putting white. White i'm sorry white. i'm sorry i'm sorry this thing too much exposure that, pad. that hollow grind and i've used this all i did was strap it you see how and i'm through the camera right now guys like i'm doing this oops, sorry oh, through the camera you see it. all over the park we'll clean it up thanks guys needs knives needs knives Bye. bang